everybody welcome back to the channel this is Kelly from House of Virgo if you're new welcome please smash that like button and subscribe if you enjoy the reading keep in mind this is going to be a love reading for uh, the week coming up okay so uh, some messages may or may not be for you take a fifth leave the rest this is a channel for Virgo Sun Rising or Venus but some all signs are welcome Gosh, I can't talk today. Okay, Virgos. So let's get into this. Let's see what the energies are playing out for the week ahead. Virgo. Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Okay. Wow, you have Paradise again. We had that on the weekend. Okay, you've got separation. Um, someone's missing you, or will be missing you over this weekend. Okay, unsure of the future, thinking about you. Um, they're sad. There's somebody here who is sad. Um, they really like you. And they want to date you. <laughs> and also paradise. So happiness, expansion, joy, playfulness, oneness, oneness and enjoying each other. So kind of looks like Virgo, um, this week is going to be rough for your person. It looks like they are... You guys are in separation you and the, you and another person your person and it looks like this person is pretty sad thinking about you and they don't like that you guys are in separation at this time okay so maybe they live on an island or you do somewhere where there is some palm trees I feel like I say that in every reading but um, let's see we've got temperance in the tower in the reverse so Someone is just trying to keep it together here. Sagittarius, could be Aries or Scorpio. Someone's trying to keep it together. Seriously, trying to keep themselves balanced, even tempered, not get too upset. They're trying to manage their emotions um, and keep themselves from falling apart while you guys are in separation. Okay. Um, yeah, I just, I don't know if you guys, if you and this person broke up or if some there's some kind of something you're not talking at this time and um i feel like this person is trying to maintain some type of equilibrium right so this is basically starting out as a love and you have three major arcana it could be a pisces i feel like this person okay so virgo <laughs> Your person does not want something to end here at all. And they are biding their time. They're trying to maintain. They're talking to themselves. They're doing that self-talk kind of thing. Telling themselves everything is going to be okay. Um, I still like Virgo. I still want to be with Virgo. I just need to give Virgo some time to let things just kind of temper out. Trying to moderate themselves before like they don't want to break down. And, and being very patient at this time. Waiting to see what things what could transpire if you guys are going to get back together if there's going to be some kind of i don't know re reconciliation of some sort here um i feel like this person is kind of acting like everything's okay and they're fine and there isn't any kind of problem but i don't see that really like i feel like deep down this person is just truly sad and missing you at this time okay they're also like um trying to get a different perspective on why you guys separated what happened like i just feel like they're trying to balance their emotions between it's it's a little bit like no it was your fault and then back to no it was my fault it's kind of that energy with this person just trying to like keep themselves stable okay yeah you are definitely on this person's mind virgo there's your card so this person is yeah, your person is like maybe you have a connection it could be a virgo taurus or a capricorn as well but um let me see what else is going on here virgo. oh yeah see this person is they're waiting for you they're wondering if you got their message i'm just hearing um because i feel like there might have been a message that was sent and um that or they responded to something and you didn't get it or you did get it and you haven't responded and so i feel like this person oh i'm just hearing they sent it and you might not have been awake when they sent it so 
they're thinking that maybe you just missed it because you were sleeping or you missed their call because you were sleeping and i feel like what was this call about because that's the question now what was this message or this this call even if you didn't miss the call or if you saw a message from this person virgo um they're 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 rationalizing do you know what i mean like in their head that the reason why you haven't responded to them is because oh they're like oh virgo must be busy or virgo must have just missed it or maybe they, they weren't paying attention or they're telling themselves you know virgo's going to call me back or is going to reach out i mean this person is really like doing everything they can to keep from breaking down at the fact that you guys are not together okay so let me see what this message was Oh, yeah, I miss you. I'm, I've been thinking about you. I'm really sad that we're not talking. I don't understand. I know some of you are like, I, that's the complete opposite. That's how I feel. Okay, well, you know, we'll look at you. We'll look at you. But I feel like this person, uh, also another Scorpio showing up here. So, whew, gosh, Virgo. I mean, seriously, the Six of Cups. The nine of wands yeah i mean this person is oh my gosh I'm wondering if you're going to come back or if you're going to return they are with this nine of wands i feel like this person is they're beat up you know what i mean like they're they're really like like they're injured i feel like there's an injury or they have a headache or they're just like kind of standing here like what do i do like i'm gonna wait though because I want us to be together. I'm going to wait for Virgo to respond or to reach back out or to just send a message. They wonder if you're just avoiding them. And even with the sun in reverse, I mean, this it's still a positive card, but I feel like this person is struggling to, main to maintain positivity. They're trying really hard because they, I don't know if it's they don't, they can't believe that you're gone or they just don't want to believe it that you are gone so this week it feels like you are heavily heavily maybe more so than any other time on this person's mind heavily and they are like seriously missing you I, this person's not even going outside Seri like they're not in really a good place <laughs> they're not socializing they're they're putting on like a false mask to try to seem like they're positive but this, they're trying to keep the sun from going down on them let me see my goodness okay yep so you will hear from them they are going to message you this week because you can't take it i don't know if you're like in mysterious mode or you saw the message there they so you didn't respond maybe or you you got it and you were just like I don't, you don't know what to say um but they're rationalizing that you're busy and that's why you're not responding <laughs> virgo i mean i just don't know i feel like um they're super, super exciting sitting on pins and needles, though, waiting for you to reach out to them. And if you don't, by the end of this week, this person is going to be reaching out and um, they've already done it. You might have missed it or you just ignored it, but they're going to reach out again just to, to keep that connection going. Okay, <clears throat> so. All right, let's take a look and see what's going on for your your health or your wellness okay so Virgo I kind of feel like you got some plans some ideas for your wellness for your health um, you've got some ideas and some plans that you want to put and begin to manifest this week whether that's like a particular diet you want to try or you're going to take up a new um, I don't know, physical activity um, or something. Maybe you're going to go into some kind of spiritual type of maybe some counseling or get into some type of therapeutic group or um, something to do with your wellness, something new. Okay. But I kind of feel like with the three of wands in the reverse, um, you have a lot of choices. You do. But um, you're not exactly sure which path to go. Okay, you're, you're trying to gain some foresight about this. So you don't know if you should take up this particular thing or take up that particular thing. It's all So this is all about you um, trying to figure out what it is that you want to do to improve your wellness. Um, 
but I, I kind of feel like you're in the um, what's this the stage of like the planning stages you know you've got some delays you haven't started something um, quite yet because you're kind of in this like mental state where you're trying to figure out what exactly it is what direction what path you want to go okay so I see you yeah wow hmm that's interesting five of cups in the reverse so for some of you this is like um you're going into some kind of recovery um healing from a heartbreak as well trying to get into a forgiveness mode in a situation or a love romance you know any kind of emotional situation in your life and that's that's kind of part of the setback do you know what i mean like i kind of feel like you maybe you don't have your your oomph about you or something along those lines you know part of this this wellness physical mental emotional and spiritual has to do with some type of grieving and um trying to maybe get out of this grief stage you're in or this feeling of hopelessness or depression yeah look there you go you got the eight of swords so there's some type of mental conflict for sure um you're struggling with something this week that's for sure i feel like you you have some ideas of which way you want to go which path you want to choose but you're not sure where to start um you're ready to manifest but you're not sure what you know which direction to go um you're trying to heal from some kind of emotional struggle for sure and trying to get into recovery mode but your mindset here with this eight of swords looks like you feel mentally restricted or you're isolated maybe some isolation that you're experiencing you're trying to push yourself back out into your life or into the community or you know to be more sociable but you're not quite like you know you need to do it you know you want to do it but you're not quite there and i feel like the realization of all of this starts happening this week let me see yep okay so hmm, the high priestess in the reverse there is a little bit of a lack of trusting yourself here virgo and um you know you're in either your intuition is blocked a little bit about which direction you're, you're like your gosh it's like your feet going before your head you know and you and that's not like a virgo to do that virgos tend to like think first and then do it and but you're like so ready and you want to be in a, in a much better place in your life as far as your wellness goes and your health and all that um but i do feel like there's this this part of you inside that you're kind of like uh, not maybe not trusting yourself you, you have some cloudedness there's like clouded energy in your head you're, you're foggy and you're tired of being there i see that like you're tired you're trying to come out of this like you've got the magician so you're like trying to manifest and force it and force it you know but you, it, for some of you it's just this thing where you can't get your thoughts together um to catch up with your feet you know and i feel like um you know don't try to push don't try to force it this week especially just try to take things easy because i don't really feel like you're 100 percent ready yeah um, you're still kind of in rebellious mode and I feel like there might be this part of you that says well if I start something based on the way I'm feeling at the moment it might be too difficult of a hill to climb and then I might wind up getting you know bolting from doing this so it feels like this message overall for this week Virgo is it's not time yet for you to um force a round peg into a square hole i feel like the message here is for you to just kind of you know relax let it come to you yeah in order for you to get in touch with your intuition and really you know get into where you need to be and where you need to go um i feel like you need to to breathe and take some moments of silence to just relax and just allow your uh, downloads to come to you even with this higher font you know in the reverse it's like you you're not ready to commit like even just to anything or you know to anyone but more so to yourself because it looks like you're just trying to finish out some energy here 
okay and um, especially if this relates to a love situation and somebody's trying to you know your person is trying to come back and they want to talk to you because you really miss you I feel like you're not fully healed yet and you're not sure of yourself yet and it's kind of a the murky water it's kind of dangerous it's too it's too murky for you to step back into something with your person just yet um, you're not even sure if you want to you might want to but you're not trusting your judgment and you're not trusting yourself right now so i feel like virgo you might be kind of in this you know what isolating yourself on purpose until you figure or until the light comes until you get that information or that download of what you need to do you know I, I definitely feel like the the message for this week as far as your wellness especially is to work on getting in touch with your intuition and not committing to anything until you know it's coming from your core okay now let's take a look at your money and your finances so you have a knight of pentacles in the reverse a lot of reversals happening here okay um you might be facing or feeling like you have some unrealistic expectations when it comes to your money and your finances or a job. Okay, let's see what else. Okay, yeah, I, it looks like um, there might be a job offer that comes in this week or um, a financial investment being brought to you. But with the lovers in the reverse, this kind of feels like you're not deciding because you're not sure. Yeah, what's going on with you, Virgo? <laughs> Um, there's definitely going to be a, um, an offer being made, okay, that for your, for your finances and career, the lovers in reverse feels like, no, I'm not signing anything. I'm not agreeing to anything. You're kind of like anti-commitment <laughs> this whole week. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. You're just kind of like, uh, not sure. I'm going to have to get back to you. Okay. You've got the Ace of Cups. Let's see. And the Four of Swords reverse, yeah. Oh, man. You know, as, you know, when it comes to your finances and your career, I feel like there is a blessing coming in here. I feel like part of you doesn't want to jump the gun because you might, it might get ruined, which is like you're not at peace. You know, you, there's almost, I don't know if it's a fear, but... I feel like just in lieu of all the other messages, it just kind of feels like you're just going to take your time. You know what I mean? Um, you're going to struggle to just maintain. You're a little conflicted about some type of financial investment, whether that's selling or buying or in, in, um, or uh, agreeing to a, a position or a career change or a new job um, or something that's asked of you on the job as well, they're also saying. Um, I feel like you're being really careful about the next step that you make. And also, some of it has to do with you don't know if you have the courage or the strength yeah, to see something through when it comes to your career, your job, your finances. Wow, you've got the devil in the reverse. My gosh, Virgo. You know, there's definitely a, a gift, a financial gift coming in for you that's going to make you very happy. Definitely. And it feels like if it, like whether that's in lieu of like a new job coming in or, you know, something that you can invest in or uh, some kind of money. Like there's the only pentacle here is the Knight of Pentacles in the reverse, which tends to be someone who's very unstable financially. Like I feel like you don't you're trying to avoid getting into something that might look good you're not sure you're not trusting you're feeling restless about this it might even be something that seems too good to be true and you have a fear of that you have a fear of something of of committing to to like all across the board you know um and, you know, when it comes to the love part that I was just talking about, too, that energy could be reversed because some of you, um, as I said, still in separation with your person who you truly, truly, like, you miss them and you really, like, have a thing for this person. 
and you might have reached out and they haven't responded and that might be kind of setting you off like hitting you and you have all this other stuff coming up like it's affecting you emotionally and physically you don't know what's going on in your relationship and i always say when your relationship is not healthy or it's just toxic or there's it's just there's no communication or there's silent treatment that can af that trickles down and affects every other area of your life okay so that can go either direction either it's that person you might reach out to this person you know your person this week just to kind of try to find out like are they still around are they still want to talk to you like you're trying to get someone to open up you're trying to maintain keep yourself from like getting too devastated about a romantic situation that doesn't look like it's like it's on hold right now and i feel like because of that you it looks like you just can't commit to anything else in your life and it's just this week okay that might change and you could change the energy as well but let me see what your advice is because i feel like a romantic situation is is affecting and trickling down other areas of your life what is your advice this week virgo oh got the king of cups okay that's a that's a second court card so we have virgo taurus capricorn and Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. What is your advice? Okay. So if you are connected in a relationship, it looks like your advice in that relationship is to move on from it. Um, settle it in your head. Um, don't chase. Just kind of tell yourself, well, you know what? If this, if this situation is done, you're not hearing from somebody. It's done. And start a new chapter because you don't want the whole rest of your life this week being affected okay because it looks like you're like when you get to a point where you're not trusting your intuition anymore that's dangerous that's a dangerous area because that means you're not trusting yourself and if you're not trusting yourself and trusting spirit you're on a path that's gonna it feels like go in a really bad direction so if this particular relationship with your person is got you to a point where you're preoccupied with it or you don't know what's going on you're left out in the dark or you are ghosted or you're just in separation and nobody's talking and there's no communication you don't know what's going on your advice this week walk away from it mentally physically emotionally and spiritually complete it just tell yourself as many times as you have to whatever you need to do you know what I am not going to let this relationship or this situation affect other areas of my life. No, I need to put this to rest so that I can do the other things that I need because I have other stuff going on in my life and I can't have that affected. I have to be at my job. Uh, people depend on me. I have to be on the ball. I have to make sure that I'm getting my stuff done and I'm paying my bills and I can't be preoccupied with the silent treatment or someone, you know, if we're not communicating, then it's done. Like if there's no communication, communication is the key to a healthy relationship. And if that's not there, you know, it's like making pizza without the dough. Like what the hell do you have? <laughs> You just have sauce and cheese. You know, you're missing the dough, honey bunny. You're missing the dough. And yeah, and the dough, especially here, down here in your finances and your money, you got a good offer coming in that's going to make you very happy. But you, there's like some kind of fear of commitment. So maybe you do need to speak to somebody or go into something because you might have this thing well like why should i i mean everything else is falling apart and i feel like your rose colored glasses may be cracked and you are not seeing reality for what it is you know if someone if the relationship is like taking a turn for the worst or something's going on even if this person misses you or you miss them if there's no communication if nobody's reaching out if nobody's responding if there isn't like okay can we sit down and talk then there's nothing there and you have to move on okay somehow some way um let me get some romance angels and see what other messages there are in regards to this love situation okay separation time apart from your partner is on the horizon yeah it looks to me and it fell right on the world so the world card is basically completing the lesson learning from it um and moving forward 
Okay, you've got children. Your love life is being affected by children. Some of you might have children um, where because this relationship is taking a toll on your mental health, it could be having an effect on your kids as well, seeing you in a particular way. Um, that's something that you might need to take a look at and see, you know. Um, can my, are my kids seeing me crying? Are my kids seeing me angry? Are they seeing, you know, mommy or daddy not being happy? You know, that kind of energy. So that's definitely something to look at. The other thing too is um, you might have been in a relationship that was very immature um, on both ends. And it's time to, you know, grow up on your end right it's never too late to grow up right but just have fun while you're doing it and you have release your ex virgo so i mean i feel like this this reading is very specific you know um if even if you've already released your ex but you still have something going on in your mind where you're lost or you're confused or you you're taking it real hard that somebody isn't reaching out or responding to you that is having an effect on other areas of your life so i feel like this week is really important for you to trust yourself trust your intuition make a plan make a decision like pick a lane you can you can stay focused on the lack of in this relationship the separation and regardless of how somebody feels or even if they reach out to you or you reach out to them and there's a response there's still that issue previously to deal with um, to have to face the conversation you know about why there was no communication or, or why something went the way it did right so regardless of the situation you need to, it looks like okay I'm not telling you what to do but it does look like you need to um, even energetically re release the person to clear your energy so you can focus on what you need to do for yourself um in the other areas of your life right because they it looks like they're taking a toll it's taking a toll okay you have hope you've got the star card so this is about renewal okay this is about getting your faith back and getting your hope back so this is good okay this this is something that you need i feel like when you drop this <laughs> and get back to yourself um at least focus on that for this week things will begin improving okay yeah you've got test of faith and boundaries here so there's a lot for you to look at this week you know um your faith is definitely being tested and your faith in yourself as well um let me see Okay, you've got struggle, challenge, and competition. Yeah, this is this is a tough week, Virgo. Last couple weeks have been pretty good, but this is a tough week. Loving older female. Okay. Well, that's you. I feel like especially get in touch with how you feel, you know, um, your feelings over this week, despite what anybody else is saying or not saying. Um, this is you getting in touch with yourself and some of you might be dealing also with a very um a water sign female who is very supportive and nurturing or could be also a highly logical male okay could be an air sign you could be dealing with as well um maybe both of these people or this was you in that relationship that you need to take a look at as far as your struggles with that person and um gaining your 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 trust in yourself your intuition now you've got boss emails so there's also an issue to deal here with a boss as well i feel could also be a fire sign that you could be um that could be your person you know earth sign water sign fire sign for sure let me see and also did i say earth yeah well there is earth and um air sign okay victory recognition applause i feel like i kind of feel like that's really yeah connect with your family and you know whoever your soul tribe is because these are the person these are the people who that your soul tribe could be right here in this chat wherever they are wherever your people are these are the people that got your back okay these are the people that celebrate you 
These are the people that are like the cheerleaders for you. When you have a problem and you bring it up and you talk at these people, give you that feedback, that positive feedback, and they tell you, no matter what, you're going to be okay. So your family, these are people who celebrate you. These are people that you, you could have... Um, um, these these are people who want to hang out with you. They want to do things with you. These are not people who are going to ghost you or ignore you, okay? And, you know, if that's your situation with that other person, I feel like you need to replace somebody with a good, strong soul tribe. And if you can get yourself out there or, try, or to get back in touch with your people who you might have run off in the past because of this difficult relationship and they didn't want to deal with it anymore because they didn't know how to help you and you, maybe you were just coming into this to that friendship group of those people and constantly talking about this relationship and they all it probably all have been telling you like leave it alone just leave that person alone go move on i feel like these people if you feel like you can't go back to them because they won't accept you back. I don't feel like that's true at all. It could be your family. Um, they love you and they they understand. And this is all that they're hoping for, that you will just kind of make the change, finish it out, you know, um, so you can focus on the things so you could be better. Have your your wellness and your health back, you know, and, and be back on the ball with your career and your job, regardless of what happens, okay? Once you let go, that's when things start actually moving in your favor and i feel like as far as this other person your person that relationship um they obviously need to take a step and you know if they are missing you this much which is what i see and this person is hopeful that you guys will be back together they they've got to do something right especially if you feel if you happen to feel like you're the one who's been doing most of everything and they haven't really been doing much then let it go and allow that person to do what they need to do. But you've got to focus on your life. Like, you got to focus on your life. Or you're going to miss the opportunities of the blessings coming in in other areas of your life. Or maybe even somebody else who could come into your life. But I don't feel like you're ready really just yet for anything. So reach out to your soul tribe, your family. Um, you might be attending a wedding over the weekend or some kind of party that is you know close to your people Ooh, all right so there is a true love connection here with this person though i will tell you your person and you um i don't know what the struggles are i don't know what's going on maybe you just need to pray for them and let them go and just you know give it up to spirit be like you take care of it because i like i got stuff to do and this is wrecking me so yeah this is a true love connection there's a decision. Time to decide about this relationship. You know, even if the relationship ends, you release your ex, you move on. That doesn't mean that they're not going to be your true love anymore and vice versa. It just means that it looks like you have to get grounded and this week, especially. You've got stuff coming up this week for yourself. Wake up. <laughs> I'm just hearing with the awakening card. It feels like wake up, Virgo. You're... This is you going undergoing a spiritual transformation. Let it go and come back to come back to us, Virgo. Come back to Earth. Come back to Earth. Look, your finances, financial challenges are affecting this connection or the relationship. I'm going to no, the connection is affecting your finances. That's what I feel. And you might be thinking it's the opposite. No, the source of your problem is the relationship that is not happening that just i don't know what happened okay that's what they're saying strictly sexual maybe you thought it was more than than it was but it does seem like it was true love but i feel like you're confused because maybe your person didn't express true love to you maybe they only expressed you know a sexual connection and so there's a lot like you I, virgo i don't even know I, I just feel like you're not going to find the answers until you let go until you be done until you just make it up in your mind, make up in your mind to just release the person and just give them over to God, give them over to spirit and just be like, if it's meant for me, it'll be for me. And if it's not, I don't have to worry about it. You know, surrender is what I feel like your message is here. Okay, oh, look, intuition. This is what I'm talking about. You already know the answer you seek, but you have been choosing not to trust your gut or your intuition. 
okay? Because you've been doubting it. Maybe not choosing, but you've been doubting it. You know what you need to do this week especially. Yeah, you've got abundance coming to you. Abundance flows. So abundance can only flow if the dam, <laughs> you know, if the, if the walls are lifted, if the dam is broken, you know, um, things can't flow when they're blocked. And you've got a blockage here. And I feel like the majority of your blockage has almost everything to do with the silence or this this separation that you're in i mean point blank period that's really what i feel like is happening here now i know this may not resonate for all of you and that's fine it, it, it probably will for some but it's a little bit of like a pick me up i feel like you need at this time as just for the week ahead to just kind of say you know what i'm starting off my week correctly I'm starting off my week right. I'm going to put this person in a shoebox and I'm going to stick them under my bed and then I'm going to focus on the things I need to do and get some stuff done here and get my work done. Okay, let's take a look and see the Chinese signs here. All right. So, year of the rabbit, year of the monkey, year of the pig. Hmm. I remember every de detail of that day. There's someone who is a pig, Chinese sign pig, who remembers every detail of the last time you were together. Okay, good for them. Year of the dog. Year of the dragon. Year of the horse. I will wait for a sign from you. I feel like... <laughs> there we go. Let them go. Year of the goat. And year of the rat. Wow. Okay, so that could be you. That could be your person. It could be none of you. All right, let's get into some names. Names for Virgo. Hope I don't sound like Darth Vader. By the way, for those of you who are new to my channel, just so you know, every reading that I do starts at exactly 10.30 p.m. Eastern. Okay? So when you come here, here's the year of the snake. When you come to my channel, um, it it actually will start the countdown at 10.25 p.m. Eastern, you know, tw on the 25 minute mark. And then five minutes later, the, the reading starts. So if everybody, like somebody came in and said, oh, it's too long. Well, if, if you know that it starts at 10.30, then just come at 10.30 and you won't have to wait. I mean, that's an idea. I don't know, just a suggestion. Okay. <clears throat> so, I'm hearing the name Jim, or maybe it's James. I'm hearing Jim. And let me see, somebody's birthday is in April, they just said. I just saw the initial K, and a, the initial V is in Victor. And I was just hearing the name Kevin. Okay. All right. We have a C. Hmm. I just heard Cujo. <laughs> what? Wasn't that a horror movie? A Stephen King? A, a dog? About a dog? A Cujo, a dog. Okay. All right. We have September 2nd. Also, somebody's eating um, like Ritz crackers or something. We have a P. Um, I'm seeing someone. Um, Oh no, they're saying, okay, they're saying prize, a prize. So I don't know if someone called someone a prize or thinks someone is a prize or that somebody wins a prize, maybe wins a prize this week. Okay, somebody's last, all right. The la okay, so weird, they're, was that a baseball player? That's an old name. Um, they said Ripkin, like like Cal Ripkin. I think that was a baseball player. I don't remember. I'm hearing Ripkin, R-I-P-K-I-N, Ripkin. Okay. 
right, we have September 6th. And somebody was born in 68. And someone's born in 76. I think that's the right year of the dragon. 76, 78, 1967, 1971. Okay, they're giving me the numbers 810 and 961. Picking up 1979 and 90110. Oh, now they're giving me Okay, somebody's birthday is September 10th, and someone was born in 1999. We're gonna party like it's 1999. Um, so initial H. H always comes out. Always. Meredith. Just hearing Meredith or Megan. And... Chu. Well, it's C H U, but it could be Z U. Zhu or Shu. Chu. Shu. Shu, fly, don't bother me. And, okay. September 16th and the 11th. And also, somebody is 56 or will be turning 56. Or is leaving the age 56. All right, let's get a couple of charms. I'm going to skip the numbers because I pretty much did them. And see what charms you have for the week. Okay. Hmm. Well, I don't even know. Bermuda Triangle. Bermuda? Maybe some of going to Bermuda are making plans. Because we do have a starfish here. Oh, where'd that go? Did anybody see my my Sosalis triangle? Just there it is. Okay. Yeah, so there's something here. I'm just feeling like, I don't know, they're just saying you're going somebody's making a trip to Bermuda or maybe you're listening to that maybe a Beach Boys song or something. There's a starfish here. So there's some type of tropical beach vibes. So you did have paradise. So either you live in a tropical place or you're going to a tropical place on a vacation, maybe the end of the summer, maybe you've already been on it and you're back as well. That's a strong message for you. There was starfish perhaps somewhere. And you also have the dove of peace. I like that. That's really good because I feel like you, that you definitely need to engage with the dove of peace here. <laughs> oh, when doves cry. Yeah, they're giving me some Prince vibes. I don't know if you like that song. Dig, if you will, a picture. You and I engaged in a kiss. Okay, maybe somebody likes Prince or the color purple. All right, you guys, so quick weekly message coming up, predictions. So I hope that that gave you some insight and helped. If you want to get a personal reading, there's a link in the description box below for Get It Now because the August special is almost up. And then um, I will do something for September, of course. But um that's a 45 minute reading, so definitely book now if you can. Thanks to everyone who's donating to the Our Rescue and the Rescue Kids Now campaigns. We've pretty much hit like $2,000 already, hoping to get by 5,000 by October. Um, so definitely if you can donate any amount to help the children missing, exploited, trafficked children, please choose either one to donate to. I'd be greatly uh, appreciate that. Thank you everyone for buying me those coffees. Super awesome. I love it. <laughs> I can't ever get enough coffee. And also, if you would like some more spicy readings with tarot reading card, tarot cards that I can't use here on YouTube, go on over to my OnlyFans. Spicy tarot card readings using those delicious red cards and what have you if you're if you want a little bit extra it's 4.99 a month to sign up all right you guys i will see you all back here on monday have a fantastic um week going forward if i don't see you tomorrow we're going to take a look at who's coming towards you all right you guys take care love you make good choices love yourselves be happy and i will see you back here very soon bye